Today, Ollie eats the grass. And there's a bit more argy-bargy throughout the race. But before all that... Let's roll the intro. OS Racing. We're at Inkart today in Milton Keynes, Daytona. This is round four. We're about to start heat one, where it looks like you've got a bit of a back of the grid start. We get a visor down. Uh, just while the graphics up, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really definitely helps us. So we're off. Um, I haven't gained... Oh, um, I've... Um, seventh, sixth. We lost out to Charlie Spreggy from the start, which is not surprising, but you gained a position on somebody else there. I'm not sure who that was. Freddy. Uh, I think it's Freddy Hill, um, uh, now P5. Someone just spun on turn four. Not sure what that was about. So a couple of things, uh, if you uh, are a new subscriber, we've had a few new subscribers, I think we've got about 38 now, so welcome to OS Racing, any new subscribers, we really appreciate you following us, and uh, also, massive apologies that we are running a bit behind on the videos, OS Racing is trying to move house, so we... Uh, we, uh, we've been a bit delayed for the last few weeks, and so actually we've got about three videos piled up. This is the first one of them, um, but hopefully you'll still get to enjoy You just got a position up to P4 there on lap five. Nice move uh, through turn one, carrying that speed. Following Ellis here, lap six. Looks like we might have an opportunity to get beside him. We have. You're right up beside him. Ah, and this is the grass move. That was a bit of a naughty move from Ellis there, I'm going to be honest. Um, you were definitely alongside him, and he could have given you a bit more racing room there. You were definitely kind of pushed off to the grass, but, you know, he's got to defend his position, so it is what it is. And you got a little bump there from... Is that Freddy? Uh, yeah, that's Freddy. Who? So we did get a little bump and kind of lost out slightly, but... You've managed to keep the position by the inside line. It looks like he's trying to do the cutback. But he's not going to quite get ahead of you there. Uh, and there's no going around the outside through that turn seven and eight. So we've held on to P4 for the time being. Oh no, but you were a bit tentative, missed your apex, went too slow through turn four, and Freddy came through the inside, so down to P5. So what you tried to do there on the inside, he kind of went defensive on his exit as well, just to keep you in the thing. Lap a 10. Still in P5, we can see Freddy and Alice, you're all together there, I can also see someone else ahead, I'm not sure if that is and Freddy's gone for the inside of Ellis but that gave him a really bad exit and Ellis then took the cut back through that was good driving by both Freddy and Ellis there nice bit of racing between the two of them so it's a been it's been a very like tight race yeah it's very tight um you've got oh is that a cadet head it is a cadet and he's now holding people up Freddy's gone for the inside. There was a bit of RG there. I think that is Owen Turpin that's just come through there and you've dropped down to P6. But you're all together, the four of you, trying to get through past this cadet. Oh, nice move there. You just got in front of Owen there before turn seven and man, he, he had the tighter line, so he had a compromised entry in then. And this is lap 11, probably the final lap. Freddy's gone for the inside. 
but a really bad exit because he skidded so he didn't quite make it stick you've got an inside line can you hold the inside line through turn 11 down the back straight you've got the position it looks like p4 and across the line great result nice <laughs> what a what a way to end the race so race classification jacob spreggy was first charlie spreggy got second uh, ellis owens was third oliver sanderson fourth at the end there that was a great last couple of laps freddie hill came across the line fifth owen turpin was sixth Rowan Marshall 7th and Ethan Colburn 8th. Well done to all the drivers. That was Heat 1. I got re I got really lucky there, um, especially when... Um, who was it? When Freddy... Um, when Freddy did that little skid at the end of Turn 10. Yeah, but you also got unlucky when there was a bit of argy-bargy behind the uh, behind the cadet. So uh, if you didn't watch round, uh, sorry, Heat 1, this is Heat 2. Welcome to OS Racing. We're at Inkart in Daytona, Milton Keynes uh, for round four. And you are starting P3 for Heat 2. You got, I know that's Charlie in second there. Not sure who the first place there is. So we're off. Uh, still in third. Looked like you had a little bump into turn one there. There's always a very tight pack. Charlie's managed to get straight into P1. That is not surprising. Such a good driver. We're right on the back of car 57. If you're in that car and you watch this video, uh, come and say hello and once I know who you are, I can call out your name as we're doing the commentary. So, still in third, haven't lost, but haven't had, haven't gained any positions. Nice to see you ducking down there on the straight from the start. It's something you keep forgetting to do. One thing we have noticed is that you're you're not going completely flat round turn nine, and it's something we've been working on to try and get you trying to carry that speed round turn nine a little bit. It's definitely where the faster drivers are kind of gaining time on you. Still on the back of cart 57. I'm hoping to try and get an overtake. Oh, we have there. That was a great... Um, exit, but ah, you've been bumped. We've been bumped, and three cars have come through, so we're down into P5. That was not sure who bumped you, but that knocked you uh, off line into fifth. But ah, whoever that is ahead, I think it might be Rowan Marshall or something, had got Charlie Spreggy. Charlie Spreggy spun down in turn sort of between seven and eight, but that. Um, bit of argy-bargy also allowed Ellis to come through so we're still in P5 Jacob's come through looks a bit angry there that was a bit of a naughty move into 10 he kind of I mean he didn't take anyone out but he had to barge into people so we're now down in P6 I can see Owen Turpin there just trying to kind of squeeze through but it doesn't look like he got it so we're now on to lap Five. There was that bit of argy bargy as Ellis comes through. Someone just whacked you in the back. There was a lot of that going on in this race, I seem to remember. Uh, I'm guessing it was Owen Turpin. He's just tried to come through, but too tight through turn four. Lap six. So, um... Ooh. Oh, ah, oh, unlucky. He spun you had nowhere to go you've gained the position there from him hopefully although he's got a fat he's now carrying more speed up the main straight can you can he make it stick or are you going to come out of this he's going to go tight into turn 10 and he spun again right in front of you twice in the same lap but you have got the position now however during all of that it allowed Owen Turpin had gone round the outside and actually because of that managed to get through and is now way up the road so was it so we're in P6 not the best result for Heat 2 looks like we caught up to the back again of some of the uh, some of the other carts but is there a flag there is a flag waving and we're about to cross the line in P6 so 
Race classification, Charlie Spreggy was first, Jacob Spreggy came second, Freddie Hill was third, Ellis Owens fourth, Owen Turpin got that fifth, you got sixth, Rowan Marshall was seventh and Ethan Coburn was eighth so a bit of a shame there because I think if you had got if you'd have managed to keep that fifth or maybe fourth that would have been enough to secure an A final I think that result though is going to mean a B final we'll about to find out Yes, we're first in the B final, which is, uh, I mean, a good place to start. This is round four of In Cart at Daytona Milton Keynes. If you are just joining us and you skip the heats, welcome back to OS Racing. Uh, apologies, this video is a bit late. We have been spending the last few weeks trying to buy a house, so this video prep took a bit of back seat, and we've got about three in carts to uh, tell you about, so. This is the first and there'll be a couple more coming over the next few weeks. Waiting a little bit for these lights to come on. Ah, someone's just running back so we're probably about to start. There's the visor down. Just while we're waiting for those lights, don't forget to click that subscribe button and like the video. It really helps other people that are interested in karting find these races. So, um, off we go, still on P1. Nice through turns two and three. You can carry more speed through there, I think. But, but it, it is the first lap. Yeah. You just got to be careful that you don't lose positions there on the first lap if you you know if you don't carry that speed through it. Still in P1, I think we're relatively safe now. I'm trying to remember this race and uh, if anyone was kind of close or on your back. I think in this one, Owen Turpin was with you all the way. Yeah, in fact, I think I just saw Owen Turpin giving a bit of a... sticking a bit of a nose down trying to see if he can get the position. So, jumping through to lap six. He's one of the problems when you're, when you're racing from the front. There's very little going on, so there's not a lot to do in the video. Yes, that is the legs of Owen Turpin, so he was still with you right here. He was having a little look, see if he could get past you. You were obviously trying to go defensive. It's that battle between like, do you go defensive or do you try and go flat out? So we come onto the back, we're still in P1. This is lap 10. Yeah, d uh, we're gonna get through, yep. Cleared one in turn 11. Go chasing after the next one. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're right in the throw, that was pretty quick. He took a slow line through turn one, and that's it. Those are cleared. If you're at the front and you have someone chasing after you, you want to be careful and defend your line, but at the same time, you want to try and make some space between the two of you so that you have a bit of breathing room. We're on lap 16, and we just come still in P1, come to the back of a couple of cadets. We've got a Mercedes AMG cadet there. Wearing a wearing a nice suit. Looks like you're going to take them both coming out of turn five. They were having a bit of a battle. I'm trying to get past like all the cadets like um really fast. Like not try and like battle with them all across the straight or something. Like because um uh it's much it's much easier to quickly like um go past them and then you finished. I just noticed as you were going round turn nine there that you did actually go flat through it for this time, so that is pretty good. And you can see actually 59 zeros, what do you think? And that's across the line, so here's your race classification. Oliver Sanderson, it's a win. It might be a B final win, but it's a win anyway. Woo! Owen Turpin did come back second, just behind you. William Hater was third. Solomon Adegigi was fourth. Rowan Marshall fifth. Ethan Corburn sixth. Liam Weatherall was seventh. And Sam Wright came eighth. I think this race, you, fit, you ended up finishing about 
eight or nine seconds ahead of Owen in the end, so he did fall off the back of you a little bit towards the end. You started putting in a lot of, a lot of low 59 laps, which really, uh, really helped you out.